I'm Anna. I'm Ben. We're out to say welcome to our channel. Today we're watching Kizu Monogatari. It is the next thing in order to watch in the Monogatari series, from what I understand. Uh, we're watching part one. There are three parts. That's where my knowledge ends. I think this is longer than 20 or so minutes. Probably. We're about to watch. <laughs> I'd assume that if it's a three-part film or series that it would be like three separate release dates in terms of like when they would have come out mm -hmm. because of just pr production time needed and if this is called you know part one it does give the energy that it makes me question or wonder how whatever i'm about to watch is going to end in terms of cliffhanger in terms of how it would tie seamlessly into whatever a part two would be if it if it shares the same name you that's know? fair I have somewhat of a guess of what it could be just by what last episode was, and it might be just a hope. I, I'm i hoping that it might cover the origin of Shinobu and Araragi, but it could be something completely different and I'd be fine with it. I don't even think it has to be just purely a hope. I feel like I agree with you that the content of the final episode of the Bakamonogatari series season bakamonogatari yeah. the final episode of that part of the monogatari series definitely would make me think that narratively the next step would be to go into some sort of prologue yeah all right you ready yep sweet okay the break i'm assuming right vampire let's go tragedy awesome cool history monochrome inverted yes that doesn't make as much sense to me as tragedy Whoa. and history. What the fuck? <laughs> it looks so cool. Whoa! This animation! He's being followed. God, doesn't this take you back to episode one? Just walking up the stairs. Oh. The spiral staircase definitely adds to the paranoia. Yeah. This feels like a horror movie. He's already a vampire, right? The he teeth. has the fangs. Maybe this is like right after he got infected. What the fuck? Mm. Holy shit. Look at the art. all have like noise in them <laughs> this is insane the shadow of the tree oh my there god i love the shadows on our ragi and from above it the crows almost look like leaves Omens of death. I'm thinking like sun vampire, you know? Yeah, yeah. Oh shit. Holy shit. Oh my God. How did we get up there to fall down? Oh my, what the fuck? It's like he's a meteor. I wonder for the lore of this vampire, how you really do kill vampires. 
Does somebody help us, or do we get lucky with the clouds? Have we met Oshino yet? Great question. Ho! Oh. Iron-blooded chapter. Doesn't this the pacing so... feel wild? <laughs> this feels so, like, serious. <laughs> it almost holds uh, the power that that a vampire should in terms of, like, lore. Like, ancient, the strongest. The reverence you should pay to the oddities. Like that top of the food chain type of... Mm -hmm dialogue to be feared and respected okay it has bloomed march 25th i wonder if we're now back in time from what we just saw hi hanekawa is this gonna oh. be the skirt from the first episode i love of the walking god look at how beautiful it is you mean hanekawa <laughs> I think you were right. <laughs> the wind is just like a lot stronger than I imagined. <laughs> Those are cute. <laughs> the physics. Me too. The light through her arm just hitting him in the pupil. <laughs> what do you say after that? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I agree with that. <laughs> I am like Kanbaru with the fact that I wear shorts under my skirt. I love her hopping around. <laughs> <laughs> I thought she was a cat, not a bunny. Wow, Interesting. we're so far back. <laughs> Look how cool he looks. <laughs> he always looks cool. <laughs> when we meet them, they have such like a friendship already. Yeah. So established. <laughs> Isn't she like so much less formal than we normally see her? Mm -hmm. My alien friend told me. I wonder if her personality changes once he has a relationship <laughs> and she's more... <laughs> Interesting. Has it already happened to him and she's grown an interest because she was watching him? Not a vampire being in town. Or is this just like foreshadowing? Like he's gonna encounter it now that he's hearing the rumors. Shinobu! Dang. Adult Shinobu! Show me those eyes. Ah. <sighs> God, Stop! I that am line is so happy right now. Interesting. Could be a cat. I wonder if Black Hanakawa is formed because she already has an interest in this sort of thing. This desire to be protected by something's not human. Hmm. 
ちょっと意味がわからない。友達が悲しいと自分も悲しい。言ってみれば、弱点が増えるってことだと思う。God. それは人間としての弱体から。So he's adverse to it at the moment. 友達が楽しんでいると羨ましいし、友達が嬉しいと妬ましい。<笑>人間が小さい。<笑> But yes! <笑> I am having so much fun watching a movie form of Monogatari. This is so cool. Because we're friends now. Wow. Think about how much change Hanakawa got to witness within our Aragi.、Uh, Exchanging numbers. <laughs> you have a friend, like it or not. I feel like this whole, I don't know, 10 minutes that we've witnessed makes me think of the question of like, would you have dated、yeah. her if you hadn't met Senju Kahara? <laughs> That's how you make friends with that, like, as an Aragi, is、yeah. they force friendship on you. It's, it's, it can an event for a lot of introverts. And now you're in. You can never go <laughs> you can back. You can never escape. <laughs> so cute. <sighs> so good. Did she just disappear around that corner? <laughs> 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 yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was like, keep going. look at this little skip. And then we see a car wreck. <laughs> Why does he make me think of you? <laughs> It's the best compliment I've ever been given. I love his outfit. Very like mid century vibes going What house on with the is clock this? and stuff. This is a different house. Well, the cram school looked a little bit different. There's some creative liberties happening. <laughs> creative liberty. <laughs> creative physics. <laughs> this is such a cool shot. The texture of the walls. I know. Like a popcorn ceiling. Whoa! He's going out at night. I know we won't see Kanbaru, but that's all I can think about. What the fuck? This makes me think of how similar him and Kanbaru are. <laughs> <laughs> literally, literally. They're the same person. Okay, we're out at night. Vampire. <laughs> that's him busting through the wall. Oh, okay. We, didn't we see the magazine in the flashback? Oh, shit. I'm so excited. I'm so happy. But I'm kind of scared. We started this out with him literally like burning on top of a building, so. The reason he helped Shinobu is because he made his first friend. It's all Hanakawa's fault. Oh, shit. So, is she being hunted?、Mm. We did theorize that maybe vampire hunters existed. Especially if there are rumors going around town that could start from vampire hunters asking questions. I love the echo of the footsteps. You'd think with that amount of blood, any human would be dead at that amount of blood loss. Whoa. What is he feeling right now? Is it panic because you're seeing all that blood? Worry? What? The audio is so wild. The score is crazy. Whoa.
SOS. Oh, look at it on the... Oh, my God. Oh. Slipping on the blood. Finding... in her arms. Bless you. Indeed, Bless you shall help me. Whoa. Bringing up the charm of vampires. Is it real or not? It's like he's being pulled. <laughs> What the fuck? <laughs> She's so calm and he's so not right now. Oh, your blood. Oh my god. <laughs> What? Heart under blood. Hot blooded and cold blooded. I shall take your blood as my flesh. Does it need to be like an offering? I mean, she can't really take it right now. She can't get to him. We're transformed. Everything you have. Yeah. <laughs> Is he like thinking like should I run away? Yeah. If she can't take it from you, you can run. But he's not going to. Oh. Oh my god. Oh. 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 Is this where they come up with do they come up with some sort of like deal? Not all of it? The baby like crying. Oh my god. Jesus. Like the baby cry almost gives an, an innocent feeling. Like this is... That's how desperate, you know? She can't do anything. For herself to help herself right now but it also like the aragi we know would help even someone who wants to kill him you know we've seen it before it's like he's trying to talk himself out of it oh Wow. He's running. Don't give up. Like shock. Like. 
it's like her respect for humanity she has gone up it. fucking a thousandfold. It went from this should be an honor to you to thank you. The difference between for food and to create a follower. We were told there's an ability to have a difference between the two. Does he already have fangs? I couldn't tell. It, the it angle. Kind of looked like it. It kind of looked like it, but. Yeah. No. No. <gasps> Where are we? Took enough, maybe, for the ability to transform into a smaller form that needs less blood. Maybe. <laughs> You are now the caregiver to a child. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> She's sleeping! Stop! <laughs> Do we get to see her love for donuts be birthed? I wonder if it's from him. Like, he gives her her first donut. <laughs> <laughs> it's been two days? We've gone somewhere different. She'll be fine. She's a vampire. <laughs> can't leave her. That makes sense. So we left her there. We don't- we didn't know what we were, and so this happens? Yeah. Fool. <gasps> Whoa. Whoa! We saw some awesome moves the last episode of Bakke. <gasps> oh. It's like she's burning up for him. To get to him. She is burning to save him. How could he be so silly to not call for her in his shadow? Look what oh. she'll do for you. Dang. How far are we from inside it shade looks shadow? Far. Okay. <laughs> God, I love the fire. It looks so good. I love the weight of the necklace. Wait, so we like instantly are healed once we're out of the sun. <laughs> Your average vampire. What changes, though, you know? Oh, just oh. like endless pain. Like Dante's Inferno. I am the same. <laughs> Call me Heart Under Blade. Second. Second. They're family. She talks so much to never talk, talk in Bakemoto Guitar. <laughs> That's what I've been wondering for the past like four minutes. Welcome to the world of the night. Her lack of talking in Bake could be us witnessing the buildup of the jealousy of him not calling for her help and stuff. Does she bring him here? Okay. Yeah. Does she introduce him to Oshino? <laughs> Heart under blade. <laughs> A nickname. <laughs> Cute. As long as you call me. Yes. My servant. Great question. Great <laughs> <laughs> Minimum amount. Mm. 
Five centuries. <laughs> Easy. I would easily. <laughs> what the hell? I've never tried to pet someone's head, but anime has made me feel like it's a very powerful experience. Ah, okay. It wasn't even a conscious choice. So she's only been brought to the brink of death one other once time. before, is basically what she's saying. There's something I need you to do. What, get other people? I know, that's what I'm worried about. Act in my... ooh. Or fight for her. Protect her. Which one? I can guarantee that. So it's to get revenge is what he's being asked to do? Yeah. The guillotine? Vamp- <gasps> They failed. So we do have a training arc! Oh my god. Take back, take back so they my have limbs. the limbs? Like, that's insane. Huh? <笑>今の運は我が剣族じゃ吸血鬼としては最高ランクのこのわしを殺すことさえ容易じゃわつまりお前は吸血鬼として弱い方だって話かいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいや
I mean, these guys seem pretty odd too. I mean, his arms are literal swords. All three. Oh. <laughs> what? Where did they go? Did they just run away? Are they scared of Oshino? You got saved on your own. Okay. Interesting line choice. You got saved on your own. Bring it also, last knowing episode. his name. Nice. <laughs> what? Angel, like protecting her. Oh, so she basically carried him there afterward. Wow. Practice in a much wider field. Oh, a hug. Doesn't even remember him. Uh oh, we're gonna get punched. We're pouted of that. It's worse. So they are working together. Yeah, that's a problem. Gotta split them up. Get creative. What? It can keep out. Be Maintain balance. There's respect you have to pay. I bridge this side and the other. Oh my god, he's so cool. Like a rolling stone. <laughs> Not, a Not a fan of it. of it. I like that. Negotiate from neutral ground. I love him so like much. Call me a mediator. He doesn't want to eradicate or hurt the oddities. What's the other? True. Ah. Adds up. Helps for Black Hanaikawa, surely. So almost, she helps out. She yeah. helps the humans, like, it's almost like a bug that would eat, like, a mosquito or something. <sighs> I feel like we are Oshino. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. Are we about to tell him something? Some facts? Mediate for you. <laughs> Pay when you can. I won't bother, bother you about it. Bother you about it. And sincerely. And sincerely. And sincerely. あの<笑><笑> She can tell. He has an aura. It's powerful. Then I'll shoulder it. <laughs> ah! You know what, though? 
if there's three parts, that's a perfect place to end part one. Mm-hmm. One of them's a half vampire guillotine cutter. What the fuck? Oh! Nationwide, summer 2016, in theaters. I can't wait. <laughs> okay, that was Kizumonogatari part one. That almost felt weird to hear. Like, yeah. I was just expecting you to say Bake. Bakemon, yeah. That was extraordinary. That was so fucking amazing. That w- It went by really, really fast. Yeah. Like, this was, uh, what, like an hour or so? I'd say. Basically. And I... <laughs> it went It went by really fast. I expected to be absolutely blown away by the animation only because, like, okay, when you have an anime movie exist, you know, they obviously have more time for budget and just time to, to, to really bring their idea into life. What I didn't expect to blow me away to, to such a degree was the pacing. Like, it was... I'm so used to Bake Monogatari where it's those 22 minute episodes and everything's so like quick and quippy and like perfectly timed that I hadn't like I just assumed you have to default go there. But they take so much time to let the characters like speak for themselves within this movie that it's extraordinary. The, The one that immediately comes to mind is how much like time and silence they give Araragi running away from Shinobu or Kishot and mm-hmm. when he's sitting there like like struggling with the idea of actually leaving her and not going back to give up his own life like there's so much time and silence that they give that it felt so I, it was it was so well done mm-hmm. and also like even in the moments that like we're having Hanekawa like and the conversation with her and like the building of a first friendship like during the the good moments it felt eerie like I felt like like it felt like I was watching a horror movie Mm -hmm. it was so antsy and scary and I loved it at the very end you had made a comment that that was a really great place to end this part one and I completely agree with you I mean through Bake Monogatari we have been given, I would say, like, a bare-bones idea, and then especially through the last episode, episode 15 of Bakemonogatari, we were, you know, given more of what Hanakawa's kind of role or place in that spring break backstory was. Yeah. And this is a- if we think about the narrative as a whole, I'm- I'm so glad that it's being given- um, like movies, you know, like being given this really nice chunk of time where they can play with the flow of it yeah. and give more time to these walking scenes, the eeriness, the unsettling nature of even the architecture and 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 some creative choices, obviously, because there are tons of creative choices of like different uh, textures where you're mixing kind of something that feels a little more real to something that is drawn oh, yeah. in 2D. And there was a really nice flow to this. And from knowing the bare bones of the of the plot of kind of what happens during spring break, it feels really nice, this, this ending place. Like, I completely agree. Because I imagine that there needs to be time for Hanakawa's story. Like, yes, we get a bit of it, but she is very entangled in the Koyomi vamp kind of storyline. Or at least she's, we know she's an observer of it. And I, so I feel like we need a little bit more time with her and their kind of friendship maybe even growing. And then, obviously, there's going to be some sort of possible training arc, possible training with Shinobu, because we see at the end of Bakamonogatari in episode 15, we see almost like Shinobu and Araragi fighting and he, like, bites her arm off. Yeah. Um. So I imagine that maybe 
we have to kind of practice. But that was adult Shinobu. I know, but like she said, she could take the form. She just couldn't have all, like a bunch of the powers or enough power to fill it. Yeah, and so I wonder if like I don't think she'd fight Araragi if she like to train him if she didn't have enough power to fulfill that's it. That's fair. And Shinobu did say, I mean not Shinobu, um, Oshino did say that we were gonna try to come up with other ways or like uh, mediate, you know, okay. with these specialists. So, so there, there's a lot I want to say. Ba- off of what you've said, okay. like you switched from the Hanekawa bit to the shinobu bit and i want to stay on the hanakawa bit for a little bit like i don't know within the next two parts how much hanakawa will have because obviously we, we like we know she's integral to to araragi and so much happened before we started bakimonogatari that being said it also feels so much like this is just about Araragi and Shinobu's origin that mm-hmm. at the end of the movie we get the idea that she's going to be more involved and I I 100% get that but at the same time I don't know if she will have any cat like within the next two parts right um so I'm trying to like think of where they overlap if you get what I mean because I feel like if you want Shinobu to be back to a place of strong power it could be really helpful for her to drain Black Hanakawa. Like, I'm trying to piece together, because we know that happens during Spring Break, too. Yeah. I don't think Spring Break is, like, incredibly long. Yeah. So I'm wondering where the possible overlaps are. I, in my mind, how I would think it would play out is that Araragi and Shinobu settle on their situation before any of it starts like the black hanakawa stuff i think starts after we get this resolved okay i mean i know that she's observing him so her her crush for him or at least her interest in him seemingly grows before helping out with black hanakawa uh, so I, I think that if, if there's room to see her at all in Koyomi's storyline, it would be as a, an observer that's in the background, other than what we get in this movie, which is really I would like to talk about, which is the beginning first like 15 minutes, which is basically her foreshadowing everything that happens to so, him. So yeah, I wanted to talk about that as well. I pulled it up on the screen because like, I don't know if I've ever, and if I have, like, anything that could compare to, like, a prequel-style thing. You know, like, I know from... I've never seen Star Wars, but I know that, like, they had the first few movies, and then they did a pre the prequel movies, right? I... This is so perfect. Like, to, to give us Bakemonogatari, and then put us here... To give us the line, it's not like streetlights make shadows unmistakably clear, is yes. mind-blowing. Like, I am... This stuff would not have... There was act- there, it, This wasn't the only line. There was a line... I want to bring it up in the same conversation, because I think that it fits in the same conversation. You got saved on your own. Yeah. It's a line that Oshino says to Aragi when he thanks Oshino for saving him. And those things wouldn't hit... As, like we're already in love with these characters so you're already having not too much work to kind of get people in viewers into the characters that yeah. you're putting on the screen because we're already into them at this point but to make nods to um remembering kind of actual thing like just these foreshadowing nods to what we've already seen these ideas that are put into place of ideologies or values or feelings that then are end up being integral to the faults and the then uh triumphs of a certain character this made me incredibly happy i'm trying to figure out what happens so we like when we're starting bakemonogatari we have Shinobu being very quiet. We are around her. She is completely different than she is within this movie. Araragi is still a vampire-ish. He's because in this he, weird, yeah, he's in this weird place. So, with the promise of turning him back human, that can't happen. Right. Because it doesn't happen. Mm-hmm. I think it's pretty, I think there is a theory or guess that is, uh, I would say, 
pretty uh, evident to me of what, what and why that is. And that is that it would be maybe sacrificial on Shinobu's part to return humanity to Aragi. And I think that I feel that way because of the energy of which she says to him that it's possible, the look on her face. But then when Sh when Shinobu and Oshino, when all three of us are in the room and Oshino says that he overheard that, there is this energy where it almost feels like he's saying to her secretly, like, you know I know the truth about this. Yeah. Aragi doesn't know how to make that work, but I do. And that's so fucking compelling because, like, be on one hand, I'm like... Because we know he wouldn't want to do that. So, like... Ex no, that's what I'm saying. Like, it's like, okay, great, but once we get there, Araragi's either not gonna let it happen or hate the entire world for the rest of his life because it did happen and he didn't know it was going to happen. Mm -hmm. Like the struggle of being like, of coming face to face with, okay, in order to make me human again, you'd have to die. I'm not letting that happen. Because he already say he already sacrificed his life for her once. Yeah. He seeing that scene of this immortal quote unquote being this powerful being that's lived for let me get the exact five centuries crying with the soundtrack overlay of, of an infant it was so crying, good of realizing that they were gonna die and they did they did not want to die obviously she did not want to die and just putting him in the position of having to hear that this and as you had brought up during watching how she had phrased it as it would be an honor to you at first but then as she's about to drink his blood she says thank you yeah and then knowing so we see this scene and as viewers we're gonna apply that to the possibility of the theory of it would be sacrificial on shinobu's part to make aragi fully human again he's already they're already linked now He's never going to leave her behind. So do you think that it's Oshino who come who like offers up the conclusion? Do you think that we even I feel like narratively you play it out by actually forcing Aragi to get into the position of realizing what's going on and then rejecting it, but they're off also like if we don't get this the scene that you were referring to earlier as potentially training. I don't think oh, I don't think what I currently do, which is we get to the point of them fighting. I think it was actually them fighting. I think that Shinobu was pushing Araragi to fight so that Araragi would inevitably win or do something that would give him his humanity back. I don't think it will happen. I think Araragi will realize that and then Oshino would be as he said in the movie a, a mediator mm -hmm. I, I like yeah thank you for for bringing up the fact that what we saw there there could be different context i think for, like, like why without fighting without that i maybe think that there's no fight at all and it comes to just like a moral dilemma that like aragi realizes what's about to happen in dialogue verbally and then pleads to oshino for another way which then ends up to where we start bakemonogatari but i think with seeing that fighting scene it, that has to be incorporated mm -hmm. in terms of personality no one's personality is as drastically different in, in terms of what we see on screen as shinobu's is from the transition from bake to kizu so i feel like i have to as on a on an easier level to get to in terms of like not too different aragi slightly different because we're at a different kind of place mentally when we start this he's not gonna want to make friends because he doesn't want the ups and he doesn't want the downs yeah. he doesn't want the jealousy he doesn't want the emotions of feeling like oh well, my there, gosh, no, I'm there are no for ups. this person yeah even the ups were down even the ups were jealousy yeah and he's being forced here into a friendship very happily so afterwards he's skipping and so we're kind of seeing the making of him and, and then especially with the line of like you got saved on your own and we're getting oshino talking about what his role in this world is which is basically the role that we see aragi be in 
within the beginning of Bake, which is this person that's bridging the gap, has a respect for the oddities, and wants to help keep the balance. Oshino, I had wanted so much out of Oshino in this movie, and I've gotten 30 times the amount that I wanted in a more. He is so fucking cool. His entrance was so badass. Only, and the what's better is how he describes himself. Right. Any of the action, amazing. What's better is how Oshino talks about himself and what he is to this world. And it, I, and the I, idea of debt, like, oh yeah, I'm not going to like pester you about it. There's not going to be any, you know, like rate on it. It's no interest. I, flat out. Like his demeanor is everything. But to go back to like the personality changes. Yeah. Um, so our Rockies is very understandable of how we'd go from from here to there. It's not a huge change at all. It's if if anything, it makes sense of like someone going through something and being opened up to things and kind of their true colors, true nature showing through. Shinobu being quiet, it I would say, it either is a massive creative choice to have it be different and nothing happens here, or we can equate it to whatever is um maybe even done to her her vampire body with having aragi exist their yeah. relationship be the way that it is in bake is it something to do with the more um more tangible like the her actual form and her abilities yeah like there needs to be a reason that in bake she isn't referred to as kiss shot or heart under blade right it's shinobu for a reason there's something that needs to happen that would make her because even right now she's at a younger form but she's still okay with being called kiss shot why is it shinobu like it well, it's we see within it's that this exchange girl that sits in a corner quiet and if, is brooding maybe even pouting maybe even secretly about Aragi kind of getting into all these other oddity situations if Aragi ends up not being a vampire but not being a human then i'd imagine that kiss shot would end up not being a vampire but not being right a they're human. existing in this place that's different in order to keep each other yeah. alive and in her interpretation of that since she is no longer just a vampire she is no longer kiss shot a serola ori and heart under blade mm -hmm. you and know I remember at the very end of bake when we're talking about why did shinobu run away it was the idea that she was trying to kind of find who she was now mm -hmm. i and then I guess Hanakawa, Hanakawa wasn't very much different. I mean, there was a lot more bouncing around that was happening in terms of like, and she was very immediately friendly, like overly so. I feel like in Bake, she was fun and she was uh, jokey, but she almost seemed a little more reserved at the same time. I like... I f phrased it in the reaction as like she seems less formal here mm -hmm. than in Baka. No, yeah, I there is something I. And so why would, why would she be less formal? Is it a choice by, a creator to kind of change things? Is it because this is a person that has now seen your true self, and so you almost feel, so maybe this, acting that we see from her is a front. Things get worse for her. Yes. At home. That can change a lot. Mm -hmm. So what we see, like, this is um, two people meeting where he doesn't know what's going on for her at home. He doesn't know anything deep about her. He just knows all the hearsay mm -hmm. of who she is. What we see here, this more uh, casual, more, f like, really outgoing kind of personality, more immediately gravitating toward friendship could be somewhat of a front yeah. that she puts up and what we see in Bake is someone who feels like they can let down you know they can just like be calm and be themselves around someone because like their dirty laundry has already been aired to this person this person knows who they really are now it could be the opposite too like she is more open now and that like how we get her describing that that mold that she's fitting herself in becomes more prevalent because of that stressor at home mm -hmm. and then i also during it had during kizu monogatari had brought up the idea that maybe even she's more formal and more reserved because of the fact that 
her growing stress in Baca is over her love for this person that is taken. Yeah. And then maybe you can you you aren't putting yourself you're you're almost um binding yourself a little bit in terms of how you interact with this person. Mm -hmm. Interesting. I'm this was absolutely this was absolutely amazing. There was one scene in the beginning when Hanekawa was leaving and like there was so much detail put into every second of this movie that I was like, it's Bakemonogatari. There's no way that we have the inconsistency of seeing her go behind the pillar and having the fence on the other side and not being able to see her continually walk behind that. There's no way. And then she pops back out and waves and I'm like, oh my God, this is the best thing ever. It's amazing. I would say I knew that this was going to be good as soon as they started this in the place that they start yeah. Bakemono Guitari off but with Hanakawa walking and the skirt lifting up. Just that whole, the energy of starting this series or like this season of Bakemono Guitari off with this, this movie being the same, um, that felt really, really nice. Yeah. Honestly, I want to rewatch this like super bad. And I think that I'd be curious just for fun. Like, obviously, I wouldn't want to wipe my memory and then watch in kind of uh, order of what happens, like yeah. timeline order. Like you brought up Star Wars. Mm -hmm. You haven't seen it, but you said that you were aware that things came out afterward that were somewhat of like a prequel. Yeah. I am. I would not want to watch it like that. You know, the prequel stuff first. Yeah. That's not how I would want to watch it, but maybe that's because that's not how I originally watched it. I don't know. But I think that that would probably be the same for this. Like, I really love going, getting the nods that we did in Bakke to what had happened to the point where we already know what's going to happen in Kizumonogatari. You know, like, we Somewhat. know the bare bones. We know... That where it starts, we already knew that there were these three characters that were, we have now been introduced to as vampire slaying specialists. Like yeah. we knew that there was going to be somewhat of a confrontation. We knew kind of the place that Aragi exists as vampire human, like where he exists in that by the end of it. We know where Shinobu exists by the end of it. So I, this is going to be, this is going to be a great experience. I think it's awesome the reasoning why Oshino steps in and wants to help. And he set up a barrier around the crib. So the cram so, so we get more cool. information of why we're at the cram school. Yeah. Which is that this was a an abandoned location that would be safe for Shinobu. Yeah. And for Aragi as vampires. I love that there's an like an established somewhat relationship between Oshino and Shinobu. Like and But she I, doesn't really recognize yeah. him at first. Highlight of the movie for me, I think, was her running up to Aragi to hug him after She hugged him as soon as he like yeah. entered. Like almost just like glad to see that he's still alive. And upon I'm assuming back. <laughs> she was assuming that he had done it. Oh, Correctly, yeah, maybe yeah. she believed that he succeeded. Yeah. I mean, he was not carrying any limbs. So that's a question. Is he really going to be retrieving, like, actual limbs? I think like, so. Uh, legs and arms yes. and carrying them back to her? That's how I and envision gonna, it. Like, I also think that if there are three parts, number two would end once all the limbs have been retrieved. And then the third part would be dealing with what is to become of them the um do you want to be human again mm -hmm. conversation yeah. okay okay that's my guess so yeah that was fantastic that was so good okay that's okay. all i have you yeah thank you guys for watching this video please like comment and subscribe we hope to see you next time